I've been made redundant three times. I know how these people are feeling right now. It's horrible. Now, if you're looking for a job, this is absolute key. 70% of people are looking at your profile on their mobile phone. Now, this is what most people end up just putting their job title, but it's more than that. Those, those are the key things with optimizing your profile. There might be a lot of people in tech companies at the moment that are nervous, uh, not quite sure about where their, their role is going to be in the next couple of years or so. And so we wanted to start to put some content together to, to help people, make sure they've got options um, and go from there. So Ashley, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I really appreciate it, especially as it was at such last minute. Um, all of these things are last minute though, aren't they? Um, I've, been I've been made redundant three times. No way. But looking back on it today, they were the best things that happened to me. It was the, it, you know, it gave me the kick up the bum to go and do something different. It gave me a, the opportunity to go and try something else. So mm -hmm. I know how these people are feeling right now. It's horrible. But when you look back at it in the future, you'll go, ah, that was a good thing. Um, but what can we do now, Lee? What can we do to help these people now? What I'd love to get from, from you, Ash, is what should people be thinking about on their LinkedIn profile? Because we've all got this fantastic free resource to develop our careers in whatever direction we want to go. So what can people do to make the best of this resource? Right. So the first thing, you, you need to optimize your profile. So you need to make sure that it, it looks decent. Okay. Is your photo up to date? All right. Are you looking at the camera and smiling? Who would you trust out of these four people? <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing. Um, I'd like to think you choose number four. Because what we've got to do, um, our, pho our photos will get us 21% more views, okay? So smile, be open, make sure you're filling that screen, okay? And if you put a color behind you, you pop out of the screen. People turn around to me and they say, Ash, you're all over LinkedIn. I don't think I am. I think people <laughs> recognize my brand, yeah? So that is absolutely key. What I'll do is I'll give you all of the, the links, um, Lee, because... I've got a, a video on YouTube, how to boss your photo. Great. So, so that, that's, that's the, the, the thing that you need to do. Um, the other thing you've got to remember is don't have the photo next to your favorite guitar <laughs> because no one can see you. You're about that size, my knit, little knit fingernail on my mobile phone. So yeah. I ain't going to see you. So fill that screen, screen up. Don't be, don't be worried about it. So the next thing you need to do is have a decent banner. 70% of people are looking at your profile on their mobile phone. And that is, the banner is literally the size of your finger there. It's six and a half by one and a half centimeters. So don't make it fancy pantsy with lots of graphics and stuff like that. It needs to be so that I can see it, all right? If you hold your phone up, can you actually read it? And you can actually read what I do on my banner. When you're creating your banner, make sure you use a big font so that I can read it on my mobile device. Yeah? Help me do, help me see what you do. All right? Tell me how you can help me. All right? If you're looking for work, then there's nothing wrong with having that on there. But if you're an expert in this or an expert in that, that is, that is crucial. Make sure that you don't put any thing in those two circles. So the green one is on the desktop and the yellow one is on the mobile phone because it, it cuts it off. It just looks schoolboy error. And don't worry about logos or contact details because again, I'm not going to be able to read it. So all of the contact details are going to be somewhere else. Now, again, on my YouTube channel, there is a video on how to do your banner and I'll give you all the links so that people can go and go through all of these. So it sounds like just mobile first as with most marketing, right? You've got to think about the audience and how they're going to see things. It's a, it seems like a massive thing. Absolutely. So the next bit uh, that is important is your headline. Now, this is what most people end up just putting their job title, okay? But it, it's more than that. It's more than that. I'm just talking to a guy this morning and we're talking about him becoming a unicorn, okay? And, and this is the thing. You've, you've got to be a little bit different. So I'm the 15-minute guy. When I go and meet people now, they go, oh, that's really funny to meet you, but we've only got 15 minutes. <laughs> or, or do you really last 15 minutes? It's just so funny. But people click on my profile because they, they, they see that 15-minute guy and they go, oh, that's interesting. And they click on it. It's curiosity. Yep. Yeah. If I called myself owner at Full Cup Coaching, what does that mean? Mm. All right. If you Google Full Cup, all right, you're going to come up with 
bras and, lo- and lingerie. <laughs> right? So I don't do that. Okay. If I put business coach and LinkedIn trainer on my um, headline, who's yeah. going to hit it? Nobody. We don't want a coach or a LinkedIn trainer. But because I put 15 minute guy, people are going, oh, wow, that's different. So, so yeah, put something in there that makes you stand out, makes you a little bit different, makes you a little bit curious. Those, those are the key things with mm. optimizing your profile. Your about section wants to speak to other people. Okay. Um, so what sort of things do you do? So on my profile, so if you go and have a look at my profile, you'll get an idea of what to do and how to set it up. But if you're looking for a role, start putting some things that make you stand out. Okay. All of this stuff of having demonstrable ability of hitting targets and stuff like that, nobody's interested. Yeah. Be a little bit different. And you've got 2,600 characters in there. So bulk it all out and put a lot of stuff in there that's, that's helpful to people. Put some fun stuff in. Yeah. So go and have a look at my profile and that'll give you some ideas of, of what, what to do. I've even got steps in there. So step one, step two, step three. It just makes a lot of sense. And the next thing you need to do is your CV part of your um, profile. Now, if you're looking for a job, this is absolute key. Now, mine is optimized for helping people with their LinkedIn. So what it's done is taken some of the skills that I've had at QuickBooks, right? We all know that at QuickBooks, I was selling QuickBooks licenses. But part of that job meant that I was helping accountants to understand the latest tech, uh, change management, adapt, and stuff like that. So I've pulled those bits out of my profile so that that's what I'm doing to people today. So I'm helping people with their LinkedIn because I'm good at helping people adapt. I'm good at change management. Yeah. Not because I hit my targets, not because I can sell a QuickBooks license. So it's pulling those things out and making it easy to read. People skim read. So bullet points. Okay. You can also go into your um, CV bit and put in videos. So go and add a couple of videos. If you've been involved with a corporate video, for example, then put that in there. Pick some of the skills that you're really good at. If you are good at doing video on LinkedIn, start doing some videos now so that people can see that. The first thing someone looks for when they're looking for a new hire is they go and check out what they're doing on social media. And if you're doing the right things on LinkedIn, you've got more chance of an interview than someone who's not doing anything on LinkedIn. So it's that sort of thing that you need to be thinking about. All of that stuff that you talked about earlier on, the demonstrable skills, hit targets, and so everyone says that, so it doesn't make anything different. What I'm thinking is, this someone I'd want to put in front of our customers? Are they going to have the impact and represent our brand in the way that I want them to? So if you're talking about your domain knowledge, about how you help with the problems that you know my potential customers are going to have, that's a, that's a huge advantage. So yeah, really good point. Love that. Yeah, no, superb. Um, and so I think that's enough for you to be going on with your, your LinkedIn profile. What you ought to also need to be doing now is commenting on posts of, the hiring managers, commenting on posts of people in that industry, on that in that company and stuff like that. It's trying to find them, trying to build up relationships. Okay. Go in and search who else is at that company. So if you go into the, the, the company, um, you can see all the employees. Mm-hmm. And when you click on all the employees, it might say that you, you, you know some of them. So if you know somebody at that, at, at that organization, Go in and strike up a conversation with them, okay? Go into um, the the profile. There's a place in the profile that you can say that you're looking for work and you end up with that little ring around you. That little ring around you also puts you out in front of recruiters. So if I'm a recruiter, I'm using the recruiter license, it's going to push those people to me first. Yeah, so it's those those, those little things that, that you need to be doing. Perfect. And notice you've said commenting on posts before you've mentioned posting your own stuff other than obviously videos and your CV. Is that which that's more important to, to comment on the right people's content rather than try and push your own out? Or like, Absolutely. You- Absolutely. Um, do put your own content out, please. Uh, once um, a week is a good start. Twice a week is getting, getting there. Three times a week turns you into a, what they call a creator. Okay. But don't get hung up about it. What you need to do is be commenting, be visible. Now, in my training, I teach people about LinkedIn 
and get them to see it as a networking um, place to be. So, you know, you go to a, a BNI or a networking event or something, you have breakfast, lunch, whatever. You go into the room. Hi, Lee, how are you? And you have a little chat. You talk about the weather. You talk about the football. You talk about Gary Lineker or whatever else is going on in the world, right? You don't talk about business. You don't walk in there and say, right, I'm going to sell you some LinkedIn training. You start building up a relationship. And that's exactly what you should be doing on LinkedIn. You need to go in and comment on those posts, okay? And comment on those posts of people that are doing stuff in your space. So, yeah, why not comment on my posts? I've got an awful lot of accountants and bookkeepers and people within this space who follow me and see what I'm doing. So, and again, same with you. They should be commenting on your posts because it's that sort of stuff that people are seeing. So one of the things we said before we, we went live with this was, what would you do if you were made redundant? Mm. And, and so you, you, you talked about setting up on your own or, or, or maybe thinking outside the box. Because every time I've been made redundant, I've thought outside the box and, and it, it just opens up different doors. And it was many, many years ago, a colleague of mine, when I was working at Digita, said, why don't we set up ourselves and help advising accountants? Why not? Why not? If you've been working in a software provider for, for, for a, a number of years, you know what it's like to be an accountant. You know the struggles that they're having. So you could actually go and advise accountants things. What they could, you could help them with their tech stack. You could help them with you know, change management. There's lots of different things. You might be good at LinkedIn. Why don't you develop that a little bit further and start being a LinkedIn specialist for accountants? Mm. Yeah, there's there's enough. There's 900 million people on LinkedIn. They all need a hand. Yeah, so there's lots of different things that you could do. The other thing that you could do is go and work at an accountancy practice as a salesperson because they don't know how to sell. They don't, ha they don't have the proactive gene that, that you, you've got if you're a salesperson. So there's, there, are, there are loads of opportunities out there. Um, and if I can help, then, then please get in touch. Find all my free videos, free resources and stuff like that. I've got a free challenge um, that if you go in, it tells you what to do every single day. So it gives you some habits. And what, what happens is, is you will get a video every single day of me bouncing on the screen doing all this sort of stuff. But every day for five days. OK, it's all automated, so it doesn't doesn't cost me or, or, or to do anything. It really doesn't matter. And if you want to sign up again, you can follow it, the, you know, have it the next week. But if you do these these set things every single day, it just gets you into a habit and gets you doing stuff on LinkedIn. I've built my whole business uh, from what I'm doing on LinkedIn. I'm speaking at Accountex this year, all because of what I'm doing on LinkedIn. So it, it is an amazing place. It's just using it correctly. So the other thing that you need to do is sort out your contact details. There's so many people I go in and I have a look at their contact details and they're not up to date or it's got um, johnnyboy at gmail.com or whatever. OK, so make sure all of that is up to date. And the other thing is, is if you've if you've got um, your company email address in there and you, you forget your password, it's going to go back to the company. You might not have that email anymore. So make sure you change that contact details to an email address that you've got right now. OK, so that is important. But put in you've got three websites in there. So put in a Calendly link so people can book some time with you. And, and the top tip there is make it a 15 minute meeting because then people don't feel that they've got to spend a load, load of time with you. So, so actually do that. That's another thing. You might want to put a video in there, put your birthday in there because people will wish you happy birthday on your, on your birthday. That's a great tip. Um, but make sure all of the information is in there. There's loads and loads of fields. Make sure you fill them up properly. Perfect. That's fantastic. Wonderful advice there, Ashley. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you, uh, you spending time with us today. I think there's absolute gold us there for people to get on with. So thanks a lot, mate. No worries at all. Hey, you take care.